We're going to talk about dormant pruning on apple trees today. The uh, Specifically here I'm going to be talking about managing the one year wood, the new growth, last season's growth on an apple tree. This applies to pears as well. You can see the shoot of one year growth here that came out last year and if you notice down here where the two-year wood begins this shoot was not pruned in the previous season and when you don't prune one-year wood and you just let it grow out for a second year most of the flower buds on the previous one-year wood as it becomes two-year-old wood turns into flower blossoms it's less work much more productive the reasons you would prune one-year wood is you are going to take it out, meaning you don't need the shoot to be any longer. You either take out one year wood or you don't prune it at all. Now if you look over here on this branch, you can see where there's numerous shoots and buds. None of this has been pruned. Only when you get out to the tips here of older wood, as you can see the one year, the two year wood in here with blossom buds on it. That is the only time where your outer cut on any branch will will end with a cut. In most cases though, it will be, if you look like in here, you can see this shoot is being left. It's not shading anything. And if you even look at this branch that's three, four years old, you can see most of the shoots here are left unpruned, but you can also see the thinning cut, which is cutting back in to some older wood and that has already has a shoot coming off to one side or the other. Looking at a two-year-old pear tree here, you can see we had this pear, headed this pear, pear last year right into this point here. There were a few weak branches. Out of this we've gotten four main trunks. We will not prune the top of the, of the one year wood here. That is very important to main, maintain the hierarchy of branches on pears. We will let the tops continue to grow as when these buds start to push we will strip off the top four or five buds below the terminal bud and that way it will allow us to get some weaker fruiting branches coming out the side. The, you can see there are four main scaffolds with two to three branches on most of these. We will watch these trees this year and thin down to four main shoots next spring. So we're looking at a fairly old conference pair right here and looking at the, the, the age of the wood. And you can see from my fingers up here is all last year's wood it's all the one year wood and you can see below my fingers in here some two year old and then three year and older and you can see where this wasn't pruned or tipped or, or headed into the one year wood in any case we have all this nice flower bud development all the way back in and uh, it's it's so important in pairs to leave your your t the tips on the edge of your on the ends of your branches to leave those unpruned so you can maintain the hierarchy. If you look up just in the top of this tree here, you can see they will get too tall, but again, you come in and take five or six buds off as they start to push in the spring and leave the terminal one, and they will feather and give you some weak shoots that will be very productive. And then they can be pruned back into that two-year-old wood after next year.